Hennessy plans to build the world's fastest four-door sedan. Well, enhance an already fast sedan, I should say. An AMG sedan, Sans Mercedes. Sans means without. So people are like, what's Sans? <laughs> More on that Mercedes pickup truck, and Honda will let you pimp your pilot with a bunch of options. The car, not the, uh, the guy who flies planes. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. It's Thursday, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. Why? Because you love it. Hey, just a reminder, we are shooting today at the New York Auto Show, going there right after this. Right, Max? Oh, yeah. That's right. And that will air tomorrow, Friday, so make sure you tune in for that. Can't wait to get over there. Did you bring a different shirt? Yeah, I brought a different shirt. Okay, great. Yeah. And speaking of the New York Auto Show, when we were there, we checked out the new Honda Pilot, which looked pretty good. A lot better than past versions. Well, it has a bunch of styling, styling accessories to improve your Honda Pilot pimp game. Some of them are chrome trim, illuminated running boards, 20-inch black gloss wheels, as you see on this one right here, and uh, some other options. You know, we don't have the full list yet. Mm. But that's where they're going with it. The redesigned Pilot gets a direct injection 3.5 liter V6 with cylinder deactivation technology. That means if you don't need all of the six cylinders, it only uses a couple. Saves gas. All right. You can buy it this summer with a six-speed or nine-speed automatic transmission. Just when you're driving it, please wear a Pilot hat. I think that would just be funny. Yeah. Right? I like that. What if you saw someone wearing a Pilot hat while they were driving? A Honda Pilot. What are you? I'm a Honda pilot. She has a pilot hat on, drives a Honda pilot, Erica. Mercedes has announced that their upcoming pickup truck will be based on the Nissan NP300, which is a global model. And Nissan will build it as well. The truck will have a double cab configuration and will have Mercedes specific styling and features. Duh. If it didn't, then it would, it would just be a Nissan. When Mercedes was asked why Nissan will build the truck, well, they basically said, uh, because building it from scratch would just take too long. So we'll borrow their platform and uh, put our stuff in it. It's simple as that. And I appreciate if you get up off my back. That's what they said. And I appreciate if you get up off my back about it. <laughs> yeah. Read that in the wrong context. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't say those exact words, but you get, you get the gist. You may be saying, what's up with the new models? Well, Mercedes has been making some bank lately. Their sales were the highest in their history for the first quarter of 2015, up 15%. A lot of that is thanks to the CLA sales, and soon the wagon or shooting brake CLA will be available. Not here, but will be. So they'll keep on making that cha-ching. Nice. Mercedes cashing in. You know, it's uh, their number one right now over Audi and BMWs. Mercedes AMG has revealed it could build its own sedan in the future. And I'm talking not one based on any existing Mercedes models. You know, for that to happen, AMG would need to make a solid business case for it. Perhaps the Panamera rivaling model we heard about the other day could be an AMG specific product. I don't know. Either way, if it's AMG only, you can be sure it will dump out heaping piles of power. Because it's AMG. Yeah. AMG Strictly. Now, since we're on the topic of powerful sedans, Hennessy is planning the most muscle-bound four-door sedan ever. The 2016 CTS-V will be the foundation for a 1,000-horsepower monster to put every other sedan to shame. We all know giving some heavy power to a Cadillac CTS-V is nothing new for Hennessy. Remember that CTS-VR wagon I drove in our 2000th episode? Yeah, right here. With over 1,250 supercharged horses? Yeah. Just insane that car was. I'm not Yoda. Just insane <laughs> that car was. This 2016 Caddy CTS-V's power will come from the 6.2 liter V8 using forged aluminum pistons, an upgraded crankshaft and cylinder heads, better fueling system, improved intercooler, and a stainless steel exhaust. Oh, and the supercharger will be replaced by twin turbos. So, yeah, a lot going on there. The finished product should top out at 240 miles per hour, and only 24 1,000 horsepower versions of this car will be made. But a slightly more modest 750 to 800 horsepower option will be produced as well. You know, if you like to go a little slower than ludicrous speed. 
Now, yes, that's a Spaceballs reference, but it now can be a ludicrous and fast lane, <laughs> fast lane. It now can be a ludicrous in the Fast and Furious reference when he's driving fast. Think about it. Ludicrous speed? Yeah. Are you talking about Spaceballs or are you talking about when he's driving in Fast and Furious? Food for thought. And now, it is time for your FLD question of the day. I kind of ruined that joke when I said Fast Lane Daily. I'm just so used to, yeah, well, whatever. This one comes to us from a beautiful winter landscape from FLD fan Manzen Scene. Now, I'm pretty sure that's just his YouTube name, not his real name. He didn't say it in the video. So anyway, take it away. Dear Fast Lane Daily, hi. I'm here in this lovely landscape nice. called Andorra between Spain and France. Ah, pretty nice there, man. Andorra, between Spain and France. Pretty cool, I wouldn't mind crushing those slopes on my snowboard for my dad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right Tom? Yep. Got it. Anyway, he went on to say he went there to ski and do his first ever road trip. Hey, let me ask, what did you take your road trip with, man? With my lovely BMW 100. 23 diesel. Yeah, that's nice, Max, huh? Oh, yeah. A BMW 1 Series 123D. Diesel. That looks like an M Sport there with uh, that M striping. Very nice. So, what is your question of the day, sir? Uh, my question, my FLD question of the day is what's your dreamed road trip? Yeah, I figured that was coming. Okay, so the question is. What is your dream road trip? So, now for me, I could easily say I want to go to Europe and drive through a bunch of different countries, experience the different cultures, and yes, I would love to do that. But honestly, I haven't done that here in my own country yet. So mine would be in a Jeep or a capable off-roader, or in an RV while pulling a Jeep or capable off-roader. Hey, he said dream, so money is no object here. Okay. Uh, I'd also have a couple dirt bikes with me, and I just go through as many states in the United States as possible as I cross the country. And maybe borrowing or renting some, some fast cars along the way to have some fun with. And if money's no object, I'll just, who cares, yeah. right? Um, that would be a blast, I think. What do you think, Max? I think that sounds good, man. Yeah, what would be your uh, road trip, dream road trip? I don't know. I really uh, kind of like to stay at home guy, kind of guy. But I guess I would go to Greece. Go to Greece and drive around Greece? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Tom? I'm following your uh, U.S. path. Yeah. But I've done the East Coast, so I'm thinking Mexico to Alaska. Mexico to Alaska. Okay. That's kind of cool. So just kind of right like the, the western side. Yeah. West coast, up the coast. Not up the just, coast, yeah. yeah. All right. Erica? Got me off guard, Derek. <laughs> 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 I asked two people before I got to you. <laughs> Quick, a road trip that you want to go on. Go. I don't know. I, I've wanted to drive to Canada lately, so I guess I would do that. Philadelphia to Canada. Okay, no, Erica. No, I hate Philadelphia, so. Erica <laughs> wants sorry, to drive. From, sorry to anyone who lives there, but I hate it. <laughs> Erica wants to drive from here to Canada. Sure. Okay, hey, that you know, in a WRX. Right. Subaru WRX okay. STI. Okay. Okay, there it is. <laughs> All right, caught you off guard. So there you go. Uh, how many uh, road trips have you been on, man's and scene? My first was this one, but I plan to do a lot of more. Ah, well, best of luck with all your road trips, man. Uh, um, thank you. Goodbye. Well, thanks, and goodbye to you as well. So uh, there it is. Nice, uh, nice road trip for that guy. Oh, yeah. Going skiing out there in Andorra. Pretty cool. So what is your dream road trip? Please let us know with hashtag FLDQ of the D. Of course, you can send your own video, just like this gentleman did to us to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. That's right. We prefer a YouTube link. And if you guys make a video on YouTube and if, for FLDQ of the D, send us the link. Sometimes we just find some that are just on YouTube that you never sent us. So it, it helps when you send them to us. All right? So thank you for that. And that's going to do it for FastLane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to see what happened today when we went to the New York Auto Show on a public day. We always have fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, let's Are go. we all packed up? Yeah, let's get, the, let's get out of here. Let's get that camera out of here. Yeah. Gotta get it off the thing. Yep. What's, uh, what take was that? That was uh, take oh, one, cool. I think. Alright, there we go.
All right, you I ready, should, Max? I should really get up. Yeah. I'm going to head over. We should really go. I